Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Nurit and I'm here today with Gabor Harsani and I've asked him to share with us what Christmas means to him. So tell okay. us. <laughs> okay. Well, what uh, Christmas means to me is uh, I certainly like the wonderful lights and the toys and the children and all that. But deep inside, what it means to me is uh, Christ in Mass, meaning that a, a, a Christ-like person uh, uh, inside the body in Mass. So we, we all have the ability to be Christ-like inside the body. And that's really sort of what Christmas means to me with the appropriate uh, qualities, characteristics, and behaviors. And uh, I guess the reason we have that uh, Bible quote here on my uh, left side, right side, <laughs> is is uh, there's a Bible quote, Luke 17, uh, 21, that is that clearly expresses that the kingdom of God is with him. So we heard it before. We heard it in, uh, in the church, in New Age seminars, all over, uh, all, all over everywhere. Kingdom of God with him. However, when I look at the word Christmas, Christ in mass, that means a Christ-like uh, person, a Christ-like essence could be living in the body. Christ in mass, inside the body, and that's what it means within. Luke uh, 17, 21 means that to me, a Christ in mass. It's Christmas. And so that is all great. And so it, it, it basically brings up the question, how do we do it? How do we become Christ in mass? How do we become a walking celebration of Christ in mass a walking celebration of christmas uh, that is every day not just december 24th and 25th but every day and so if uh, if you look for a bible quote that might relate to the previous bible quote uh, i move my head a little bit <laughs> matthew 6:33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all else shall be added unto you, right? Now, as you can see, the word first is highlighted there. And so why would we highlight that word? It's because the statement, the Bible quote, seek ye first the kingdom of God is not conditional. It's not conditional upon uh, as some kind of an improvement, it doesn't say uh, uh, seek seek the kingdom of God, provided that you had all your issues attended by some kind of a therapist. That you uh, seek seek the kingdom of God once your mind once your mind is in order. Seek first the kingdom of God, but first become let's say vegetarian. Uh, first change your behavior. How about behavior modifications first make sure you're not uh, you know you don't have anger you don't have much fear you're forgiving people etc etc that statement is very clear it's a seek first the kingdom of god so the kingdom of god christ in mass christmas christ in mass is available now it's not conditional upon anything you do not have to uh Clear your emotions first. You do not have to look at past lives first. You don't have to uh, clean chakras. Uh, I don't know what else is available. <laughs> you don't have to whatever. <laughs> the, the commonly accepted spiritual practice, and absolutely everyone seems to believe it, and most teachers uh, present it that way, that you must first somehow improve yourself to be kind of worthy of the Christ-likeness. So there is a timeline in spirituality or spiritual teachings, show it here this way, is the past, that's the future, and somewhere in the future, 
where I deserve it, somewhere in the future, if I had enough uh, silent retreats or meditations or whatever, I will kind of deserve or kind of qualify to be Christ-like, to walk around as Christmas, walk around like a Christmas tree. <laughs> we all agree that the kingdom of God is within, but the second statement, seek ye first the kingdom of God, which is within, and all else shall be added unto you. It's absolutely not conditional. Kingdom of God is available now. You don't have to improve anything. There is access to the kingdom of God. And so it, it's available for all, all people. This divine, amazing ability is available within the intelligence of the body. All those wonderful improvements that we seek on a, on a time-bound level will be added automatically onto us. We don't have to struggle for it, clean it up. We don't have to deserve anything. First, we hold God's hand again. Then all else shall be added unto us. It will be done unto us with no struggle whatsoever. Uh, that's what uh, Christmas means to me. Can you tell us a little bit about how to access it? very easy to access uh, since it's already available uh, within the body. The, the body's intelligence is amazing. Um, the, the body already uh, knows how to, how to run itself. The, the universe runs the body. So universal intelligence is available inside the body. Even if you feel sick or not quite perfect, there is absolute perfection available in the body. So we can get in touch with that intelligence. Uh, for example, a, a very good example for someone would be, if you want to try, is simply uh, start, feeling your, start feeling your hands. If I feel the vitality in my hands, genuinely, I'm not thinking about it, I'm not visualizing it, nothing like that. I feel, feel kinesthetically my hands. That's, if you're willing to do that, that is the beginning of uh, knowing that the kingdom of God is really with hand. Uh, feeling my hands, feeling the intelligence. There's a calmness that's available almost immediately that is beyond the mind. And that's the way to get in touch with the universal intelligence that runs the body. This is what Jesus meant by pretend. And if you seek that first, all else come easily after that. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I hope that helps. So thank you for watching and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you and your family. Merry Christmas. Why not? God bless. <laughs>